Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to install a washing machine. Now maybe you've moved properties and you're just moving your washing machine or maybe you've bought a brand new washing machine and want to get it installed. I'll take you through all the steps that you need to get it successfully installed. Why pay someone else to fit it for you when it's easy to do it yourself? And I'll put all the various steps in the chapter descriptions. And this video assumes that you've got all your existing pipe work ready. And today I'm going to be installing a brand new washing machine and this is a Bosch model. If it's a brand new washing machine like this one, you should get a brand new cold water feed hose. Make sure you definitely use this, don't use an old hose. Always use the brand new one that is supplied. On the back of the washing machine, we've got the drainage hose here. So just unclip that. And we've got the electrical plug. Again, just unclip that. And the drainage hose and the electrical plug are clipped into these transportation bolts. Now it's very, very important that you take these transportation bolts out because if you don't, your washing machine probably won't even work and it will make the most horrendous noise. Basically it keeps the drum in place when it's being moved about. For this, you'll need a 13 millimeter spanner or a socket just undo those bolts anti-clockwise now you might want to keep those in case you ever move property again and you can put those transportation bolts back in if not just take them to your local metal recycling and you get these clip covers that come with the washing machine these just clip into the back so remove all four transportation bolts and put these four cover clips on What we'll do now is install the drainage hose. Now generally there's two types of drainage pipework. You've got this type, which is just a drainage pipework straight out into the public drainage system. If you've got one of these, just put the pipe down about eight to 12 inches. Don't push it all the way down. If you've got one of these U-clips, then push it into that. That stops any blockages or smells. Now the other type that you might have is a U-bend underneath your sink with one of these attachments here. So what you need to do is put your drainage hose onto one of these. Now, if it's a really good tight fit, you can just squeeze it all the way on and this might be good enough, but I recommend that you put some kind of clip over the top of it just to keep it in place. So I've got this metal spring clip here, just gonna squeeze it with the pliers, put that spring clip onto that drainage hose and that is the washing machine drainage hose now connected to the u-bend underneath the sink generally most modern properties will have this kind of arrangement underneath the sink what we'll do now is connect the cold water feed now the 90 degree angle end of the pipe goes on the washing machine end screw this on clockwise make sure you get a good fit if it feels like it's not going on don't force it because it should go on nice and easily now, whatever you do, don't be tempted to tighten this up with a ratchet or a pair of pliers. Just do it hand tight because you do not want to damage those plastic threads. There's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. Then take the other end and put that onto your cold mains water feed pipe. Now, it's a good idea when you're doing this to note the location of your main stopcock just in case you get any problems or any leaks or any plumbing issues. That way you can isolate the mains cold water. So screw this on clockwise. Again, just hand tight, as tight as you can get it. And then we're ready to turn the cold water on. Now do this slowly, don't just whack it right open. And you'll hear the cold water feed into the pipe. Now, although the washing machine isn't on, that cold water feed hose is now under mains cold water pressure. So you're just checking for any leaks at either end. Now you're ready to plug the washing machine in and switch it on. And then we're gonna put the washing machine into the space where it's gonna go. Now it might be easier to remove the dispenser drawer just so you can get a good grip on this. Or if there's two of you, that should make it easier. Just be careful when you're pushing it back into place, not to kink any of the hoses at the back, the cold water feed hose or the drainage hose. Obviously that is difficult because you can't see it, but just be wary of that. 
Now the washing machine should come completely level, but if you're putting it on a timber floor, it might need leveling up. So I've just got this spirit level here. I'm just going to put it on the front of the washing machine. And this one isn't actually quite level. So it needs lifting up on the bottom left hand side. Now most modern washing machines will have adjustable feet. And on this particular model, you're going to need a 17 millimeter spanner. So just to get someone to lift the washing machine for you, these legs actually unscrew up and down. And once you've got it in the correct position and you're happy that the washing machine is level, you then take this locking nut and move that to the top of the bolt right near the washing machine. Then take your 17 millimeter spanner and just tighten it a few more turns. This basically means that when the washing machine is doing its spin cycle, that that locking nut will stop the legs moving about and adjusting themselves because they're locked into position. Make sure you do it on the other side. So the washing machine is now nice and level. If you haven't got a spirit level, you can use a marble. There's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. So that is now locked into position. Let's just check it with the spirit level again. That's looking pretty good. But just take your hand, push it on either side. This one isn't moving at all, so this is great. If it's not level, it will make a horrendous noise when it's doing the spin cycle. And as this is the first ever wash for this washing machine, I'm just going to put it on a short cycle. And in fact, my wife is doing this step for me. 30 minute wash with nothing in it, just to flush the system through. What you're doing is you're basically checking that the washing machine is working and that you've got no leaks. And that when it does its spin cycle, it's nice and level. It's not all rattling about. This footage is all speeded up. But just go around, make sure there's no leaks anywhere. If you can locate your drainage pipe work outside, have a look at that. And this one is draining properly. Now it's on the last spin cycle. And it's finished. No leaks anywhere. Absolutely fantastic. And a top tip after you've done a washing machine program, always leave the dispenser drawer slightly ajar and the drum door slightly ajar just to help with ventilation and to stop any smells. And I tell you what, that definitely, definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. Oh, I hope you found that useful. Up on this side, there's a video on what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water properly. And over on this side, there's a video on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Thanks for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.